Victor Marquise Cooper was born March 11, 1982 in Mesa, Arizona. From an early age, he excelled on the football field. He just had that passion for football. And he was just, even when he was younger, um, playing tackle, um, he had a coach and they were trying to get him from one team that we had in Gilbert to come to the Chandler team. Throughout all levels of his career, Marquise was always able to defy expectations. He says, uh, I have a goal. When I go to Washington, I want to be a, the, the, a starting linebacker there and play my freshman year. Well, I said, but know this, that most coaches redshirt their uh, at least 95% of their freshman class. And you got to keep in mind that they're moving you to a position linebacker that you've never played before. So I don't want you to get your hopes up, but look, it's all good. University of Washington, now he didn't become a starter his freshman year, but he was a backup uh, linebacker to Anthony Kelly. He played every game. And then from his sophomore to senior year, was a three-year starter and a two-time defensive uh, player of the year for the team. He was a much better player than I was, so it was, it was fun and I almost I became kind of like a, a fan of his and watching him play and being able to see him excel. Marquise knew what he was supposed to do. You know, his, his, um, his football IQ was off the charts. What separated Marquise from everyone else was his tireless desire to improve. Once he um, developed himself, mentally and physically and also spiritually, um, he literally became a Greek god. There was a time when he finished in, up in high school. He'd already committed to the University of Washington, signed his letter of intent there. And so during the summer, uh, this young man would, uh, would uh, get up at 5 a.m. every morning, go to his workout. He'd go, his workout was from 6 to 10 a.m. And then he'd come home, he'd, he'd get something to eat, rest, and then he'd go back from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. But it was much more than his ability on the field that left an impact on so many. Uh, I, I think that smile, and then uh, it was rare, but when he laughed, it was a good laugh. But one thing that I loved about Coop, that I learned about him, was he wasn't a showboat. For me, is his work ethic. Um, just, he always sacrificed everything worked hard, he had goals, and he just worked towards them. I mean, even if there's times when he wasn't the most talented person out there, he always outworked them. Well, well the biggest thing I'd like people to know and remember Marquise for is for his undying friendship. I mean, he would give you his last dollar. He'd give you his shirt off his back. He was one of the reasons why I started playing football, um, why I continue to play football, Working with him when I was at the Raiders was like some of the best memories of my life. Just um, showing up to work and having like that guy, like one of kind of your heroes growing up, like being right next to you. His attitude and his kindness. Marquise was kind, you know. Um, honestly, his kindness set him apart from everybody else. Uh, his humility will absolutely be remembered. A certain kind of player that comes around once in a lifetime, somebody who's got tremendous skill and tremendous talent. Um, but also is just a, a good person. I measure everyone against Marquise. It doesn't matter if they're in high school or in college or in the NFL. If they can do a Marquise Cooper workout, then they got a chance of doing something special. Marquise, we love you. Uh, to all of your family members, we love you. We respect all of you. Bruce and Donna, most greatest respect and love for you. Uh, you guys raised an incredible son. It's been a long day. Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again.